sun setting at this festival. Beautiful it's out. It's beautiful. beautiful. Check out this montage. Whoa. Brisket burritos. Brisket burritos. Can I get two brisket burritos, please? Yes, please. I want you to be bad. Number six. That's not number six. All right, Wow Bow Bows, first one, and then 50/50 barbecue board. Pork, pork, pulled pork, pulled pork sandwich. Pulled second, pork second. Barbecue like pulled pork sandwich. Bul bul bulbacure, barbecue yeah. bulbacure. Bul and then, bul and then now brisket burrito, pink taco. Pink Got that taco. one right. Got Nailed that one it. right. Got that one right. Friendship. Did I win the lottery? Oh, I know. Is that how you win the lottery? I think so. You just point at it. You just press it, you win the lottery here in Illinois. That's all you gotta do. That's why everybody's so happy. Pushing it. Do this number six again. Thank you, thank you. The pink taco comes in a pink box. Hey last meal of the night, last food vlog of the event. Look at him. That's the truth. That's our cute little box you're carrying. Risky. It's a cute little box he's carrying. What right here? Wanna do it right here? Do it right here? Two brisket pink taco burritos acquired. Jump cut! Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Fix the camera. Hello, welcome to food vlog number three of Man Beyond the Beach 2018. Tres amigos, my friend. I'm one half of this tag team named Sean, and this is my pal, Flo Rida. Hey, yo. <laughs> knock, knock, who's there? Flo. Flo who? Florida. <laughs> so I'm looking at seagulls. If you didn't see, we did a lot of watching the public in the last video. Fans. You like that about number six with cheese? Big fans. Big fans of watching people and commenting on it. Oh, that guy just found that girl. All right, so they had chicken, they had brisket, and they had other thing. <laughs> I didn't read it. Now they had brisket. Uh, pork, pork, carnitas, chicken, yummy. carnitas, brisket. Yeah. We went with go. brisket earlier go. today. We, you get it. All right, this is we've never had pink taco never outside pink of taco. this festival. First so this timer. is our. Virgin smashing, pink taco licking Yikes. experience. Are you ready? Yeah, I am. Cheers. Dinner. Oh, beans so immediately. Mm -hmm. Beans immediately. They go aggressive on the beans, I've mm -hmm. noticed. Yeah, they all came with this um, hot, sizzle. hot sauce. So this will be a double review. This is also the hot sauce from Pink Taco Review. It's almost like you're getting a little mini mukbang in here too. Are we spoiling you? Ooh, a lot of beans on that one. A lot of beans. What do you? What's your first impressions like taste-wise? Too much beans. <laughs> so far, I'm waiting for a. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, hot sauce. Two things. Oh, there we go. Really hot immediately. Like really hot. Also. As cold as my freezer at home. Just real quick, trying to see if the pink taco hot sauce is in here. Oh, yeah, of course. Here it is. Oh, the hot sizzle is? You know, like when it's just temperature-wise. Oh, yep. You know, they're trying to not get it all moldy. I get yep. it. No, I, I get it. I'm also rocking. I haven't cracked it yet. A Blue Crush Monaco that's been sponsoring this weekend's festivities. If you haven't, I've told you before. How many times is he going to have to say every it? Time, go watch the vlog. Do it. Everything's linked below. So like, this is like a four-part series. The vlog's the, the granddaddy of it all. And it's three little... That's what shows all the fun stuff. Little kids are these little food vlogs. But yeah, we've had a good range this weekend of food. Asian. American. Southern. And now Mexican. Mm -hmm. I like it, but it's so much beans. It's a lot of beans. I'm not getting to like, uh, wow, I'm going to eat pink taco again in my life like a lot. No, and that could be a festival food. Like, oh yeah, but it's, it's filling a void right now that my body needs. I suppose. I mean, it's substance. <laughs> I will agree that it's substance, right. but if that void that my body needs is pleasure, I am not getting that from this. <laughs> I'm getting like almost all bean. I just have beans inside of a tortilla. I don't like how prominently you say the word beans. You're I don't so like how prominently I'm eating them. You're so good at saying bean. You're like so many beans. I'm like, yeah, dude. You're you're not wrong though. This is making it a little bit better. A little bit. That's the truth. Man, the line for pink taco though was like people really wanted it. Man, just more beans and bite every bite. <laughs> My God. I, look, so I want more. There's there's definitely brisket in there, but like 
day. <laughs> How about some more beans, Mr. Taggart? I'd say you've had enough. Dude, I wanted to tell you, I haven't even told Corey this off camera. Oh my gosh. You guys see about 10% of our lives, no, that's not even true, 1% of our lives in this series and you think you know us? No, but um, dude, uh, girlfriend's friends came into town and they wanted deep dish pizza and we got Pequod's, mm -hmm. picked it up. You did tell me this. Told you it was bad? No, it was bad. Dude, like, I, it's really hard for me to stick up for deep dish pizza. Like, we've had some good ones here, like here and there we have. We love Labriola, Labriola downtown and on, off Michigan Avenue, but dude, our crew that came in and had it. I of course did my thing. I was like, out of five blown up air mattresses, probably because they were asleep. How many blown up air mattresses do you, and they were giving it like a two. Yeah. Dude, and I couldn't, I couldn't, you know? I believe Chicago that. Chicago, it's tough to, like out of towners, I don't, how do you give it, I don't know. All Chicago food stupid. Sorry for our Chicago fans, but the hot dog, you're throwing tomato and Vegetable, salt Vegetables, celery salt, peppers. The deep dish pizza is just a, a pot of tomato, basically. It's, a, it's it. like a weird, like, it's like a tomato soup bowl. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dude, we got the like ground sausage and like the main Chicago one. That's it's the ground sausage and the green peppers and the, you know how that they do. Yeah, that. I never suggest deep dish to anybody who comes in town. Here's what I'll ask you guys: If you don't know anything about Pink Taco, and then we're kind of introducing you to this. Comment this: How many of you have visited Chicago, like come here as a tourist, had deep dish pizza? and we're like legitimately blown away. Like hyped about it? Yeah, like not even like, oh, it's pretty good. I'm glad I tried it. I'm talking like, were you like, man, I wish we had this in my hometown. I would eat it every like splurge meal. You know what I mean? I've never once thought that. No, they have it in my town and I never go. There's a deep dish place that does like Chicago style deep dish. Like right. does it just like they do here. Right. I never go. I'm just curious. So like, because we're in Chicago and you know, we get Chicago style foods all the time. At this festival, we, we wanted to get stuff we've never had. Something different, something fun, you know? You ate it all. Yeah, I mean, of course I'm gonna eat it all, but yeah, I'm not I'm not impressed, Pink Taco. I gotta say, I'm, if I'm, I'm an honest Abe, that's what I do here for you guys, I'll let you guys know the truth. And the truth is, you're an honest guy, dude. That's like one of the least tasty foods I've had at any festival. So transitioning from that information, into this part. Out of five <laughs> isolated islands. How many isolated islands? I'm thinking like beachy islands. Yeah. Like I want to go, you get it. How many isolated islands did you give the brisket burrito at this festival, Corey Wagner, today? Pink taco. Well, I can't really speak for the brisket burrito, but for the bean tortilla wrap that I just <laughs> ate that was just, and it's not even like good beans, just a bean mush. Look at guys, I mean, he's not wrong. This is the rest of mine. There's not a lot of brisket in there. I mean, it was pretty garbage. I'll give him, I'm gonna give it a 0.5. And I know sometimes you can give slack the places that are at a festival, but I sometimes give, there's a little bit of a bump too. That you have to assume that places at a festival are only gonna give you stuff that's delicious and right. greasy and right. gross. Right. Meat, and by gross, I mean amazing. Like greasy, bacon, nasty, gnarly stuff, you know? Mm, good adjectives. And that was not tasty at all. That was so far from tasty. It was just substance that filled my stomach. Did that well, but other on the taste factor, like a .5. It's garbage. Wow. I think they grilled it really well, but that shouldn't be my biggest compliment about your burrito. Yeah, it's embarrassing. Uh, not a lot of brisket. The, the spice of this hot sauce is pretty good. I'm not completely against it, but Corey's right. This is a very average, below average uh, festival food for eleven dollars. Yeah, I'd be really. I would rather have a giant bocce that. piece of pizza for ten, one less dollar. Yeah. I'm gonna give this. Uh, and that's just all the things. That's that's the other things. Everything at. A festival's all the same price. It's all 10 to 13 bucks. You know every time you're eating, you're spending about 10 bucks. So you know you can go and get another meal for the exact same price, uh -huh. but it's gonna be way better. Points for the grilledness, points for this good tasting hot sauce and that I didn't have to ask for it. But that's all I'm giving you, I'm giving this a one out of five. It's fair. But I'm so hungry. Hey, fair is fair, you know? You know, we've been running around all weekend. I'm trying to, I'm still trying to get my calories done. in, you know? I'm still a, a number six with still cheese, to be fat a, ass. Still trying to be a beefcake, you know? Gotta feed those guns. No. Feed them the calories they deserve. No. Nobody says that. Feed the guns. Nobody says that. Beefcake. That's not a thing either. Nobody's making beefcake. Feed the goons. Are you Eric Cartman? Feed the goons. Beefcake. Regardless, really happy that we're here at Mammy together, covering our like second or third music festival together. That's right, we did it. Hey Corey, you know there's only one way to celebrate. Sure, I'll have a drink. All right, let's clean up our spot. 
clean up. Corey, it's like a behind the scenes episode. Now you know how it goes behind the scenes. How does it go? All right, let's get this over Whoa. with.